here's outfit of the day hey guys it's felicia with happily ever after living today is saturday may 15th and i'm going to share with you guys a very quick grocery haul because this week i went over budget oh my gosh yes i did um, so I just want to share with you guys like this is the reason why like today when I went to the grocery store I was in such a hurry I was able to focus in the beginning But then I just needed to get out of there like right now It is currently 508 and I still need to do my meal prep and everything So I'm gonna show you guys a quick grocery haul. I'm not gonna put in all the prices But I will tell you how much I spent and for this week's meal prep I'm only sharing with you guys this keto casserole that I want to make tonight so I will share that with you guys, but the rest of the meal prep um, during the week, I am going to do my best to show what I eat in a days, so we'll be able to see everything that I eat then. Don't forget that if you like videos like this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. But for now, let's flip the camera around and see what I spent like over $200 on this week. All right, so first let's do a quick scan. This is going to be a very quick grocery haul. I hope I'm not making you guys dizzy. I'm trying not to go too, too fast. Okay, so first we got some tomatoes for salads. Then we've got two um, dozens of eggs. These were $2.99 each. The eggs were extremely expensive, but I was able to find these marked down. Then we got, um, we have some spring water. My husband loves like spring water. Mushrooms, my husband loves to have these in his omelets. Red onions, we'll have these in salads and omelets. Um, more cheese, these were marked down to $1.99. And then we got some jalapeno peppers for a keto meal that I'm making tonight. So we'll be using these again tonight. Um, then these were buy one, get one free. However, one was $8.99. So I guess I paid $4.50 for each one. And then we got some cauliflower um, because I'll be making mashed potatoes for the family. But mashed cauliflower um, like for myself and my husband probably. Um, and then we've got strawberries. These were buy one, get one free. They were $4.99 each. Some oat milk. Again, I told you guys my daughter's home from college. She likes the oat milk. Then we got sweet potatoes. Um, my husband mainly eats those, but I'm going to add those into my meal prep this week as well. I'm starting to eat a little bit more carbs. I'll talk about that in another video. Okay, so cucumbers, avocado some taco mix which we'll be using tonight um some lemon juice and garlic powder i was starting to run out of seasoning so lots of seasonings this week um some blackened seasoning obviously there's a pattern your girl loves her peppers some kombucha yes kombucha um hot sauce sour cream kombucha Okay, I think we covered everything here. Yes, okay. And then we have some, um, those are the rest of the sweet potatoes. Then we have some oranges. So these are blood oranges. I will tell you guys, I made, I don't wanna call it a mistake, but I don't always ask my family what they would like from the grocery store, and this time I did. So it definitely made the price a little bit more but i think every now and then it's okay to allow them to have things that they actually want versus just things that you decide to create we don't do it every week but whenever we can it's nice so like once a month isn't bad these potatoes were buy one get one free which was a good deal because um my daughter actually wanted mashed potatoes so that worked out well then we have more apples lots of stuff for salads and Finish for smoothies and then we've got some triscuits and then ground turkey I wanted to buy ground beef but admittedly it was on sale for I believe $8.99 for a pound this was $4.49 so we're going with ground turkey again not to mention it is somewhat healthier more lean um, and more affordable some pork here um, which I'll be using in this week's meal prep for my lunches. So $4.49 here and $4.33 there. And these were buy one, get one. So that was nice. Now, let's talk about this salmon. You guys, I have been missing not having fish because fish is just more expensive. But let me flip the camera around. 
So today while I was at the store, I wanted to go get some salmon. I went over by the department and the guy there, I said, how much is the salmon? He was like $12.99 a pound. I was like, oh, great. So I turned around and walk away. He's like, come back, come back. He goes, what if, um, what if I gave you a deal on it? I was like, what do you consider a deal? And he was like, I can mark it down to like $7.99 a pound. I was like, deal. So this, you guys see that? It's like folded too, but we paid $24.13. So I thought that was great. I'm really excited about that. I'll be using this in this week's meal prep for myself and my family. And he was like, do you want anything else? I said, do you have any more deals? <laughs> So, we also got some trout. Look at that. And we were able to get this marked down. And I'm not worried about like freshness or any of that because we're cooking all of this today. Like my husband will probably smoke the trout and then I'll probably cook um, some of the salmon in the air fryer and then he can smoke the rest of it. So yeah, the trout was originally like 10 something. I don't remember it was expensive like it was more than what I was willing to pay which is why I have not been eating much fish lately but he was like what if I can give you the entire amount for $12 like take home and I was like bet you got yourself a deal so I don't like know what numbers he put in but when he was done it came to 986 oh my gosh so excited about that so yeah, that definitely, it was a good deal, but it took me over like the $200 that I wanted to spend. Um, but let me grab the receipt real quickly. If you guys saw my what's in my bag video, then you know that this is the little thing I keep my receipts in. So, all right, so my total, you see how long this thing was? Like insane. So before, I remember like when they scanned everything, my total came to like $311. Oh my gosh, I gotta tell you guys something. Okay, so when they scanned everything, my total came to $311 and some change. And then I gave them like my discount number and everything with all of my coupons and stuff. And then it came down to $232.79. And then guess what happened? The entire screen turned black. Like on my side, it turned black. On her side, it turned black. All of the groceries were in the cart. I was like, now what? <laughs> and she was like, oh my gosh. So of course, like her and the girl that was helping the bag, they had to go get the manager. And then the manager came over and she's like, okay, we have two options. And I'm like, tell me, what is it? And she's like, we could either like go back and rescan everything or she's like, if you can wait until the thing, the system reboots, then that will be fine too. And I said, because you know, I am not one of those people that just bring a problem. I like to also bring solutions. So I said, how about we just toss confetti and you say, surprise, all of your groceries are free. <laughs> she didn't like that. So I had to wait and I waited and the total came to so with all of the things it went from 311 to 230 to 232.79 and then I had seven dollars off so it brought my total down to 226 dollars and 17 cents so I was aiming to spend like 200 dollars because I knew that I needed to get a lot of things um, especially one thing I don't like is that when you have to restock on um, things like seasonings and different things different things like that because I don't really watch like as those prices drop increase or whatever and then I had things like butter butter was six dollars and nineteen cents like why is butter so expensive um but the good news is that I had a coupon for like 15 times points so the next time I go to the store I'll have like $17 off and I think that's amazing so if you think about it like the 220 minus the 17 kind of on budget but i'm still over budget but um what i'll do is i'll show you guys real quickly the keto I, th I think it's called like taco keto keto taco casserole or something to that effect i don't know but i'll show you guys in the video it'll be a quick one don't worry hang tight and talk to you soon hey guys so remember that um taco keto casserole bake I told you guys i was gonna make um on sunday i did it today is it is now tuesday morning like almost 5 a.m. and now I am finally getting around to making it so let's go all right so I have the meat out and it's thawed and ready 
I did not originally plan to use these, but my mom brought them over yesterday. And as you can see from my refrigerator, I really don't have a lot of extra storage space. So we're gonna use the bulk, the majority, maybe even all of those. We also need eggs. I'm using these eggs, these are duck eggs. They're really good for baking. I'll also be using some taco seasoning mix, two onion, and cheese. Now you guys can see I still need to clean the kitchen. I went to bed so early last night. I think maybe like, it was before eight o'clock. <laughs> I was tired. I was tired. All right, let's do this. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and add in the ground turkey, which is here. So I'll do one pound per pan, and then I'll add the taco seasoning next. All right guys, so now I'm going ahead and combine both of those pans, you can see here. And now I'm going to um, put six eggs into here, beat them, and then add in um, the meat mixture. guys so it's been baking for about 25 minutes but this is real life my husband has to go to work so I'm gonna take a portion out for him and then put it back in the oven for a little bit and then of course once it sits the mold will form better and I think I'm also gonna pour some of that wool off while I have it out save on the calories you know all right guys so this has actually been sitting out for just a few minutes and I'm not putting it back in the oven it's already it's done so this is what his lunch looks like for today broccoli and just a little bit of sour cream on top and I did put a little bit more cheese on top but yeah you could add like some chips if you want to but he doesn't want those all right guys so I'm gonna go ahead and close this video out because I need to go and work out before I get ready for work so don't forget to like share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video bye